Greetings YouTube. How is everybody doing out there today? Gotta adjust the camera a little bit. Yeah, you hear, hear my buddy over there? Brutus, what's going on? What's, come here, Brutus. Come here. Come here. Come here, Brutus. Brutus, hi. Yeah. He's just being stubborn today. I wanna show you guys some of the progress that I've been doing. I've been now, guys. I I uh, been trying to get my layout of my shop. You know how good you can see it. The tree right here represents the middle of my shop. They're over here, about to attack. Yeah. Ouch! Stubborn just bit me. Stop, stubborn. Stop, stop. She just bit me. Yeah, I named my chickens. Stubborn always goes for my feet or my shoes or my pants leg. Get, get back. But anyway, so this side over here is going to have my lift. It's going to have my lift, and I haven't decided I'm going to go two or four yet, but that's down the road. And then I'm going to have another garage bay over here. I'm going to have another bay over here. And then I'm gonna have uh, my my uh, another room upstairs. I'm gonna have a loft upstairs. So you guys kind of get the outline of where I'm going with this. And uh, don't you come over here and bite me? So you guys kind of can see where where I'm headed with this. Guys, I, I'm just taking my time with this. This I'm hoping to be next. I'm hoping it's going to be next uh, spring, early spring, March, April. I'm hoping. But the way things have been going, who knows? Because that concrete's going to get me a, a concrete slab is going to be like five, six thousand bucks to get done. And that's what me included. But I'm going to have to get another guy to help me or two. But I got all this cleared out back here. Got my retaining wall up. I'm going to paint all this. This is the thinnest retainer wall I can get. And see, I got it filled full of concrete. That And it's also channel too, guys. So when it rains, it goes all the way down and it comes out down there. It comes out down here. So now I got to do is I got to dig a trench for my French drain. And I got me some trees down. I'm going to start getting these trees that I need to get down for a bonfire I still got to level this off guys so I'm just taking most of my dirt I'm leveling it and then I'm dumping it over into here so when I rent a bobcat I can finish leveling this off and then uh, I'm building me a, a garage back there but it's just gonna be a storage garage well basically it's gonna be a barn because I'm gonna have my goats and stuff back there so that's pretty much where I am guys let me show you the other thing I got she made it to her new home guys I finally got it in here I got it all in here got it all bolted up got it bolted to the floor and it comes with its own pads so that worked out pretty good so it ain't going anywhere I already got the wire run to it I already got the I got the hose and my shutoff valve already connected the problem i'm having right now guys is trying to find a regulator and an air filter that's three quarter inch from what i've been seeing there isn't very many of them out there guys and the ones i have been seeing are very expensive and the ones other guys have been recommending they're about four or five years old i can't find them so i've, I've been looking on ebay and they got some but they're very expensive and Amazon, I, I, like I told you guys before, I only shop Amazon or Walmart if I have to. And Amazon ain't got nothing. So uh, there's other companies out there that have stuff. And um, I'm going to look into them, do my homework with that. I don't have my power yet, but I do have everything hooked up and ready to go back here. Got everything off. The, the good thing about this is, guys, see that right there? See that right there? 22 amps. All you need is a double 30. 
That's all you need is a double 30. The other double 30 is going to be for my baseboard heat. That's going to be right here. I'm putting a baseboard heater in here. And then that 15 amp. I had to use, put up. I had to cut this open so I can run that wire back through there. And um, I said, well, I didn't want a hole there with a blank. So I said, you know what? I'll just put a plug back here for, from that panel. So it's going to work for me. So I got all that there that run, got all that ran, got everything up here hooked up. Guys, it's real easy to hook up. It's two hots and a body ground. It's real easy. Real easy to hook up. And with that being 22 amps, guys, that ain't hardly pulling anything. Matter of fact, you could probably get a double 25 if you could find one. But I put in a double 30. So, and then I had some, I had some uh 10 gauge uh triple three wire um 10 three wire laying around so it worked out perfect so i got all that done this right here is a um a, um hydraulic hose guys and it'll hold 20 2100 uh psi and then um of course these right here they'll hold about the same not a little bit more and then most of all my plumbing on the walls guys is um PVC and it's rated some of us rated at 480 some of us rated at 400 psi it's not going anywhere guys it's not going anywhere i know people say wow well, you know you shouldn't you shouldn't use plastic cuz plastic over time it, it gets brittle and it breaks and it does and i'll deal with it when that time comes where it's kind of worse i can just drill me a hole and run those lines across my shop on the outside but until I get until that happens, guys, I ain't worried about it. And if it does happen, it's probably 20 years down the road. Because they <clears throat> where I work at, they got them in their shop. That's what they're using. CPVC or PVC. You want to use PVC, not CPVC, PVC. So I got everything taped up. I got it all ready to go, guys. I just gotta find my regulator and my my uh uh air dryer or my air separator. I gotta find that. And then um, uh, I'll be ready to have all this connected and be done. Another thing too, guys, don't put your air compressor all the way against the wall, guys. Give it room to breathe. Because when you, you push it all the way against the wall and it starts getting hot in here. Another thing too, I got a plug right there. I don't know if you can see it. I got a plug right here. I'm going to put a fan up in here too, guys. I'm going to mount it to the wall. I'm going to put a fan in here to uh, in case I, I use this thing excessively in the summertime. And that'll help get that, blow that fan around and uh, move air around in here. The only thing I do have left to do, guys, I have to hook up my uh, air drain. It does come with an air drain that comes out this hole right here. I'm debating if I'm going to use that or just drill a hole in the wall and run me a tube on out. I'm debating what I'm going to do yet. But it does pretty much come with everything, guys. The pads, uh, it don't come with the wire. And another thing, too, guys, this right here, this is where your air comes into the tank. I'm going to wrap this. I'm going to wrap this one installation, too. And that there will help keep, because most of your heat comes from this. When this thing starts getting real hot, it's pumping hot air down in there. But another thing, too, when it gets real hot, you don't want it to pump a whole lot of hot air in there. Though. So I'm going to wrap this with pipe installation. And that'll, that'll kind of help it too. But for right now, guys, I just want to get, get the little, you know, little bitty stuff done. Uh, get get it all hooked up. Get my airlines connected. And uh, then I'm going to be waiting to see. Oh, they're all looking for bugs. This is my crew right here. Yeah, I'm talking to y'all. It's my crew. These are the, the the red wings. These are my reds. But that's where I'm I'm at today, guys. I wanted to get the air compressor in there. I've been working over there trying to move that dirt around. Um, when I I'm just want to get the the perimeter done so I can and measure out everything because I got to put sewer lines in there. I got to dig for a um, septic tank. And once I get all that there in there, guys, then I'll be ready for concrete. So, and like I said, I, I, I'm going to work on these over the winter because the winter is the best time for me to get stuff around here done.
because it's not as hot. And I'm a 35 and sunny guy. So it works for me. Oh, by the way, also got my island poured. Forgot to show you guys that. Got my island done. I just need to unbox it. Still in the box. I got that done. I've been looking for the gas pumps. Got me a wire there so I, I can turn my globe on. You ever heard children of the corn? How about chickens looking for corn? Yeah. And then these guys over here dirt bathing it. These guys are always curious. So I still got a lot of work to do here, guys. I was I was going to try to get this done today, but I got started too late running around trying to get stuff together and all that other stuff. But my island's done now. So all I need now is, and I've been thinking about, I, well, I know what I want to do, but I haven't got there yet. I need to find some kind of epoxy or something. I want to epoxy this whole thing, but I want an oil-based epoxy. That's what I want. I want an oil-based epoxy. I'm getting ready to feed you guys here in a minute. I'm getting ready to feed y'all here in a minute. They're, those, and they're just as bad as my dog when it comes to looking for food. So guys, I've been very busy trying to get things done around here. Here's another look at my shop. One thing I like about this clay dirt, guys, you slide a shovel in it and it just breaks right where you slide that shovel in there. So you can see I've been trying to get my outline here. I'm going to get rid of this tree. I hate getting rid of this tree. It's one of them uh, blackberry trees. But it is what it is. Eventually I'm going to get rid of these trees too. But all you do, take a shovel. Take a shovel. And when it, it rained the other day, just get down in there. It just pops right out. Got these roots in there. It just pops right out that's how it looks kind of so even so that's the first layer and then i got a second layer underneath of it and that's where i i come home every day guys and i spend a couple hours out here digging this stuff but now that we're losing daylight hours oh it's gonna be tough probably gonna have to bring out one of my floodlights because now that i'm losing hours and stuff let's see what let's go in and see what time it is I'm losing an hour now. I wish they just roll back the time and just leave it. That's all we need. Just leave it. it it's uh, 5:29 in the afternoon, and it's original. Yesterday it was 6:29. So, and it's uh, I think today's a seven. I think today's a seven or six November. One of them. Well, guys, till the next time, like this video, share this video, comment down below. Um, share it to your social media if you don't mind. And I got that bad boy right there. That's I'm going to be working on that. Hopefully next weekend I can rent my trencher and uh, start getting this wire in the ground. Because I'm ready to fire the air compressor up and see, see if it works. We'll see how good it works. I've seen videos on them, and they, they seem to like them. So, like I said, I, I'm not a full-time shop, guys. So, I'm not a full-time shop, so I won't need the compressor all the time. So, well, guys, that's pretty much it. I showed you guys a pretty, pretty much what I've been doing today. I'm seven days a week out here, guys, unless it rains. So, well, guys, until the next time, I will talk at you later. Stay tuned for the next video. Until the next time, guys. Bye-bye.